Welcome to FTC Recap, where you get the latest breakdown and discussion of what's going on in the FTC community. For first updates now, I'm Ishan Oberoi. Joining me is Egan Donnelly. We've got lots to cover in the show, so let's jump into our headlines. Rev Robotics recently updated their FTC starter kit and now release new documentation for many of their products. They release a new website, doc.revrobotics.com, in order to consolidate all their documentation. The website has sections for FTC, FRC, First Global, and is organized to make it easier for teams to find what they're looking for. Much of the documentation has also been updated to include the latest specs from revisions of products they've released. You check this out, Egan? Yeah, I uh, I saw someone talking about it on the FTC Discord the other day, and I had to look to to see it for myself because uh, finding stuff on Rev's website has always been a, a chore. Um, and now that everything's you know all in one place, uh, like finding motor specs, uh, encoder counts, all that good stuff, now that it's all in one place, it just makes that process so much easier. Yeah, awesome. All right, so uh, our first major sport is returning since COVID, and that would be baseball. Uh, Games begin tomorrow the 22nd with the first series between the Yankees and the Nationals uh, in our nation's capital. Social distancing and empty stadiums will be in effect. Uh, These measures aren't as strict as what the NBA is doing with their bubble in Walt Disney World, uh, where they're enforcing strict health checks um, and ensuring you can only enter if you test negative twice. Um, Although the... Uh, MLB is doing a lot of testing to prevent COVID from spreading between the players and the team staff. They will have a shortened season, you know, but something is better than nothing. And I'm glad we can uh, return somewhat to normal uh, and get some sports on TV. Yeah, I'm a big Nats fan. So really looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, I think like this goes to show like, yes, in a controlled environment, you can start to do stuff and hopefully we'll see it as COVID hopefully gets better, uh, we can start seeing first events as well. Um, So as many of you know, just this past week, first launched Game Manual Part 1 in a unique way. They split it up into two different versions, one with remote events and one for traditional events. While competition style and format will this year will vary heavily by region, uh, there are some interesting and notable changes to the traditional game. For example, they've changed the advancement order, so control is now higher than motivate and design. Uh, finally, software is getting the recognition they deserve. They have uh, also removed engineering notebook from the game manual, uh, so now it's all engineering documentation. And uh, through some research from other sources, it looks like that this documentation is going to be much shorter in length, uh, making it easier for the judges to look it over in quality. Uh, we're going to have a further discussion about this and the changes that have been made uh, later on in the show, but I think it's some cool changes. It seems like the FTC FTC is listening to the first community. What do you think, Egan? Yeah, I'm definitely um, making it not a contest of who's got the thickest notebook and heaviest notebook uh, (laughs) is a welcome improvement for me uh, because I know writing out daily logs is not my favorite thing to do. Um, But we will have to see, uh, I believe in two weeks, we get the awards section and that'll go over all of the uh, specifics on what the new engineering documentation is going to be. Uh, moving on, the Valor CAD challenge took place this past week with the game Hex Force, uh, which involved robots collecting hexagons and scoring them into ports at different heights. Robots will also be able to park in a parking zone, or they can build a bar and hang on that for points in endgame. Uh, their award ceremony for that is going to be tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, sorry if you don't live in Eastern Time. You'll have to convert that yourself. Um But this was an interesting game. Uh, The elements had, uh, I think, a geotagging or something to them to where they could remotely become uh, contaminated or be uncontaminated, and you'd have to clean them up. Uh, Ashant? Yeah, I thought thought the game was pretty cool with the contamination part. It was 
kind of interesting to see like having electronics inside of the game elements. Uh, the the award ceremony is actually going to be, I think, right after this show. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time is when the show is about to end. So uh, you can go check that out. I also thought that it was cool that robots would place the bar that they hang on. Like that's something we haven't seen before. We kind of had it with the hook because it was hard to hang off of a hook in Rover Ruckus. But yeah. uh, that might be something cool that first could implement uh, for this new season. Um, also, uh, just recently, it was announced that the popular car soccer game, Rocket League, will be play- free to play in the Epic's Game Store soon. Uh, this summer is the ETA. Uh, it will be leaving the Steam Store, and players who have already purchased it will get some uh, in-game items to compensate for it. Uh, it sounds like a great way for more people to get involved with the fun Rocket League tournaments that we've been having. We had one this past weekend, and I heard it was a huge success, but I don't own Rocket League, but I will now. Um, and it looks like Epic Games is continuing with their model of free-to-play games with in-game purchases just like Fortnite. Uh I know. Do you play Rocket League a lot, Egan? Uh, I was actually playing it just before I got on the show. Uh, <laughs> I'm no good though. This? I'm I'm a little I'm a little iffy on that. Yeah, I really only have Epic Games for the free stuff. Uh, not Fortnite though. I don't play Fortnite. <laughs> um, but moving moving off of Steam is, is it's a negative for me. But I'm sure it'll uh, it'll we'll have a lot more um, competition possibly with uh, the fun tournaments uh, later on. I was going to so, say, kids, that's, make sure yeah. you grab your uh, mom's credit card and uh, make sure you purchase everything you can uh, within that. Like that one person who bought uh, $20,000 worth of bits on their parents' credit card on Twitch recently. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and finally, FTC team 12835 Pixelated from Granger, Indiana, has began a comprehensive series of training videos relating to all things FTC called FTC Crash Course. In the videos, they cover just about everything from software to CAD to awards, judging, uh, etc. The videos are releasing on a weekly schedule and targeted at helping teams at all levels. Uh, I saw on their YouTube channel, they just released the second video in their design part of that series um, earlier today. And uh, I'll have to go check that out. It seems like it would be a pretty cool um, uh, recruiting tool or teaching tool to get uh, new new kids onto the team. What do you think about that, Sean? Yeah, I, I think it's a great one-stop shop for rookie teams that are trying to understand a little bit of everything in FTC. Uh, I mean, Pixelated, they've been to the World Championship many times before, and I think that they're one of the teams that a lot of people look up to. So it's cool to see them reaching out into the community and trying to help out younger teams uh, and get them involved. Uh, we, we've In the FTC community, we've had resources spread out all over the place, and so I think they're trying to consolidate a lot of what people have. I'd love to see them interact with teams and get other teams on for these uh, pixelated crash courses. I think that would be something cool to see. All right, and we asked you guys in the chat, uh, are you guys happy with the notebook changes? And most of you said yes, and I would... I think most of the FTC community is pretty happy that we don't have to log every single thing in our notebook. While it is good practice as an engineer, uh, it can be tedious at times. So uh, it is it is a nice uh, change. Um, so with that being said, that was all of our headlines. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.